Hi everybody, it's Susie from Ruby Rose Reborns and I'm here today and I'm going to do a little box opening. It's not a kind of box opening where the Reborn is done and in it, but it's still a box opening. It's a kit box opening and I'm excited to share this kit with you and I, well, a little backstory. Um, you know, it's no secret, you know, I've all, all I have been having feeling a little bit of being in a funk on YouTube. I've been on YouTube now over two years and been pretty active, but I just, I've, I've reached a slump and um, I've been trying to get out of it. And I was talking to Katie about this and she said, you need a new baby. And I thought, you know what, that is true. And yes, I do have one that I plan on making for myself sometime this year. But um, it's a girl. And I'm not going to tell you what the kit is, but I do have the kit. And it's a dream kit for me. But I um, thought, yeah, but I still have a couple of customs in the wings that I need to do and finish. So it's going to be a long time before I can get started on that baby. And then I got thinking about that, and I've seen a lot of people's new babies. I mean, of course, Katie from My Little World, she got her Quinlan, and she's just adorable and beautiful. And Wendy, she got her Macy, and oh my goodness, what a gorgeous doll that is. And, um, oh, and Suzanne has gotten a few babies, I think. Well, she's she has gotten a couple, but her latest one, her Marianne from the doll show, is beautiful. And um, there's a lot of people, it seems, that have been getting new babies. I can't remember all of them, but, or are getting new babies. And I thought, you know what? I do need a new baby. And I started thinking about uh, my Finn. You all remember Finn, and I sold Oliver at Thanksgiving time, and um, you know that was okay to part with him. But then the mommy, his mommy in England, wanted Finn as well, and I got thinking about it. I thought, no, I made Finn a little boy. I made him for me, and I had him for quite a few years. Well, like three or four years, and I had sent his head off to. Uh, Mandy from Chrysalis Meadows to get painted and but I thought it's okay you know that's okay um, and then of course I got my two Levi's Cooper and Camille and thought that would um, kind of solve the problem there but it hasn't I really miss Finn and I do have Harvey and I love Harvey but I miss Finn and I go into the drawers and I see a lot of his clothes that I still have in there and I see some of his pictures and I love Adri Stoet's um, kits and I miss Finn. I miss having a little boy at um, zero to three months and somebody that could be with Harvey and uh, Harvey, I love Harvey. He's fun to dress and everything. He's very chubby and he's got a really cute face and stuff. But, you know, he was one I did some, well, he was the fourth reborn I ever did back in 2008. So if that kind of tells you. And I kept him uh, because of my dad. And I've told you all this before. My dad's name was Harvey. This kid's name is Harvey. And, um, he uh, he came out when my father died, so it's kind of his memorial baby. But he is cute and everything, but he's just not done like exactly how I'd want. I mean, after eight years or nine years, I've matured a lot with my reborning. So I just got thinking about that, and I thought, well, when I get done with these customs, I am going to... Um, hurry up and try to start working on my little girl but I thought oh it would be so fun if I had a, a little boy well Monday after all that long talk and backstory sorry ladies but I just want you to get the feel of it um, I went on Bountiful Baby because I had to order some supplies and they had a picture of their latest real born release that I hadn't realized was coming out just then and 
it was instant love. And I said, I absolutely have to get this baby. And I thought, I'm going to get this baby. And I am going to make me a um, little boy. Now, of course, like children, nobody's going to really replace Finn. But he's the same size as Finn. And he has... I'm going to move my light. He wears the same size clothes and he's open eyed and I love his little face and I love chubby babies and I thought he's perfect. He is just perfect. I am going to get him. I'm going to reborn him and I'm not going to root his head. I'm going to have his head painted by Mandy of Chrysalis Meadows. She did Oliver and she did Fan and I loved how she did the both of them. And so I'm very excited because I can get this one done relatively fast because I'm not rooting his head. So who did I get? I know he's been awaiting. He's so I had not realized how big he was but until I really started looking. But here he is if you guys can guess but boy, does he have a big head. But he is going to be so fun. And, um, you know, he just, he looks really a lot cuter painted. <laughs> but he's still cute. It's Landon Awake. Um, a real born Landon Awake. And, you know, Landon Asleep has been a very popular sculpt for a bountiful baby and for many collectors. So... I have Mr. Landon awake, and he is just adorable, and he does remind me a bit of my new grandson. I don't think I even told anybody, really, but I have a new grandson. His name is Leonardo Gabriel. He lives in the state of Virginia, which is clear across the country for me, and um, I haven't seen him. He's like three months now, four months, three months. Anyway, he's just adorable, and um, I haven't had a chance to see him. I will um, this summer, soon, I hope, or October, where I go back and I spend some time there. Anyway, so this is Landon awake, and he does remind me a lot of my little grandson, Leo, and he's just got that innocent little face. Look at that. Is he so cute? And I am, I'm just thrilled to pieces to paint this boy and get him in to my nursery. And here's his little body. So we'll go ahead and we'll just put on his body. And I have to tell you, this was so funny. Um, it's one of these bodies. It's, it's a really nice one. Uh, dose weight bodies, but it has the panels and it has the gathered tush too, but it has the panels in it. And because he is kind of he is a chubby baby. Now check this out. I love babies with fists, so he's got the fist there with his little um, finger over there. And he's got some nice details, and put that there. Then here's his other hand. He's got a lot of good details on that palm. And he's got a little open hand. And I even have a picture of Leo with his hand is open and his little fist. And so here's his little arm. And then he's got these gorgeous chubby legs with the ankles and the feet that have a lot of detail with the creases and the rolls that will accentuate his chubbiness, Mr. Chubby. So cute. Oh, he he's he's a big guy. I mean, wow. So there's no way. That head, that head's too big for me now to root. I, you know, I root when I do customs, the maximum is a 20-inch doll. And he's 21, but his head seems bigger than that. He's got nice nail beds. I like the nail beds. And um I like Bountiful Babies vinyl. And there he is. And I don't think I have any in here. I'm just going to put a little bit of stuffing in that body so we could kind of get an idea. 
but I'm not going to worry about that right now. I just want to make sure y'all are seeing this. So I'm going to, he's going to have some dark hair and some blue eyes. And I've already, Mandy's done work for me in the past, so she's very aware that this little guy will be coming. And I just thought, we'll just see. I got this little outfit for Finn last year. Still has the tags on it and never did anything with it. But I know once his body's on and everything, but he, that he's going to look really cute in this. And I love him because he has, um, you know, he's got full limbs, which is so important to me now because he can, he can wear these cute little sleeveless things. So there's my boy, and I will keep you informed, and pretty soon, I'm hoping by next month, I'm hoping the next few weeks, I can have the, uh, I'll have his, have him put together and ready to go. I'm really excited. So I just wanted to share that with you. Oh, and I have some other news, too, is I took Annabelle in today. And she's having three puppies. And uh, I am, we're just thrilled. She's due next Saturday on the 23rd. And we took her in four weeks ago. And we had an ultrasound done then. And yes, indeed, she was pregnant. But she had reabsorbed three of her pups out of six. And um, dogs do that sometimes stress, whatever, just maybe those weren't right, who knows, but she reabsorbed them, or and was in the process of reabsorbing, and you could see the empty sacs there, and you could see one that was in the process of kind of disintegrating, but there were three really nice puppies then, and um, Sharon, who's the uh, tech, the vet tech, who does the ultrasounds, she was, she wanted to make sure that um, those three kept growing and that it just wasn't because sometimes once they start absorbing reabsorbing they'll reabsorb a whole litter I had a golden retriever that started out with six puppies and she ended up reabsorbing all but one one big puppy and we ended up having to have a c-section on her for that one so um, they they tend to do that so we want to make sure that that wasn't happening. I would just be heart sick if it, if it was. So we've been watching her and no blood had passed, which was amazing. And so for the last um, three weeks, three or four weeks, we've been watching her like a hawk. She's in the house with us all the time. Well, she's really blossomed. Oh my goodness, she's as big as like when she was going to have seven puppies. But I took her back today to make sure those three little pups were doing well. And was there any problems that they could foresee or anything? And uh, she had been having a little trouble with her bladder. Um, she was she just wasn't drinking enough, so we had to start putting water in her food so she would drink. And um, her bladder looked great, absolutely clear as a bell, just great. And uh, there we saw them, three big, fat puppies. Their heads... I. Oh, I'm a little concerned about that, but, you know, I usually see them when they're just little, little, and you don't really see much, but this time I saw their spines. You could see how they were laying with their little arms and their heads. You could see their hearts, and their hearts, she checked every one of their hearts. Their hearts were beating strong. She said there were three very nice, sturdy little pups, and she, and she had changed the due date the first time we went. She backed it up three days. I mean, went forward three days, and I said, well, I didn't know about that because, you know, from her breeding, she should be due then. She said, no. She says, these puppies aren't big enough for that. Today, she said, change the due date back to the 23rd. And, you know, don't be surprised if they come on the 21st or 22nd. So, sometime next week, we're going to have our puppies. So, please, pray for little Annabelle and um, her three little puppies. And when they're born, I'll let you all know. And, of course, it will be some weeks full of puppy videos um, with Annabelle and her little pups. So, anyway, I'm going to sign off now. I've been on way too long. 
and here is my beautiful little Landon Awake and he is going to make the cutest baby. And I might even get Landon asleep so we have twins. I'm thinking about it. So anyway, congratulations to all of you who have got new babies. I know I've left off, left out people and um, or that are getting new babies. I look forward to your box openings and love you all and I'll talk to you soon.